We share our lives with the animals. And similarly, we share our health. We're affected by each other and the environment we live in. But ecosystems change in a changing climate and under human pressure. Soon there will be 10 billion people to support. Vast areas are covered with monocultures, trade webs encircle the planet. Environmental toxins, microbes and diseases quickly reach all corners of the world. The corona pandemic is not the first time an infection originating from animals has been spread over the world. And it won't be the last. As we're breaking down barriers between humans and nature in our hunt for space and resources, now there are also other ways of breaking barriers. Chernobyl in the Ukraine, radioactive fallout from the nuclear power plant disaster is disposed over Sweden. Lichens, the winter feed for reindeer, absorb the fallout, leading to enormous and long-lasting effects on reindeer production and the Sami culture. In other parts of Sweden, game meat is still destroyed because of high becquerel levels. Bacteria don't respect borders either, and they're becoming more and more resistant to our most important countermeasure, antibiotics. Today, when cities can be larger than individual nations, each city has its own bacterial challenge. There are no simple solutions, but there is a worldwide strategy to meet the threats. We're veterinarians, Physicians, biologists, and ecologists join forces to address the entire complex system so that our policymakers can act to tackle the problems with antibiotic resistant bacteria, to monitor viruses and other disease causing microbes, and to make us realize that the wounds we cause in nature make us vulnerable. We must learn that we share not just the Earth, but also our health with our fellow travelers on our blue planet. We call it One Health. One World. One Health. <laughs>